Hey everyone, Tyson Moore here. I'll be partnering with The Home Depot to show you how I made this tray for carrying s'more supplies and also how we set up our patio for holiday hosting. The main body of this tray is made from a single piece of weathered board and is inspired by my buddy Jeremy at Jericho Home, Georgia. So the first step was cross cutting three pieces at 18 inches long. In the leftover board, I took to the table saw and ripped it in half. You could do this with a jigsaw or a circular saw if you had to, just be safe. I then cut those thinner pieces into the links that would be the sides for my tray. I shaved off the edges of the outside board so that the sides would fit against it flush, and then it was time to assemble everything together. I used some wood glue in the joints and then connected everything together with the 18 gauge brad nailer. Now this Ryobi 18 volt cordless nailer is so much more convenient than dealing with a compressor. After this, I touched up the edges with some stain and left everything to dry. The next day it was time to put on some polyurethane, and this will be a food safe finish after it's fully cured. Now I also picked up some metal brackets and this Bare Premium Paint and Primer spray paint. I want to add some hardware to the corner of the tray to give it a more rustic look. I left everything to dry and the next day I came back to assemble my divider. I decided not to permanently attach it so I could remove it later. Next up, I'm using these little black carpet tacks because they look like rustic nails in the L brackets on the corners of the tray. And now it was time to add the handle. I'm using some painter's tape on the handle and marking the holes and then transferring that to the tray. This is a really easy way to align drill holes so that they line up perfectly. And with that, it's time to turn our attention to the fire pit. So we went with this metal patio fire pit made by Tiki with a removable ashtray. It's gonna make cleanup super easy. And with that, the only step that was left was to get some wood. The day I picked up my cordless brad nailer, I also saw this cordless chainsaw and just had to try it. And after a couple of hits with the hatchet, we've got the wood that we need and are prepared to host our guests. We did wait till our finish was fully cured before adding the food into this tray. And the divider keeps all of our favorite s'more supplies separated and organized. I'm pretty sure that my family will make use of this for years to come. And so that's it. I hope that this project was helpful for you. And don't forget that Home Depot has all of the supplies and the tools and all the furnishings that you might need to host your holiday guests this season. You can find more of my work on my website and social channels. And if you liked this video, I'd be honored if you considered subscribing. Thanks again for watching.